do you have challenge? The challenge you're going to be doing today is going to be called Bypass. With this challenge, we get a university online registration portal asks students to upload their ID for verification. The developer put some filters in place to ensure only images are uploadable or are they enough. Take a look how the upload is implemented. Maybe there's a way to slip past the checks and interact with the server in ways you should. You can access the web application here. And it gives a hint. It says, Apache can trick into executing non-PHP files as PHP with HTA access. So if you Google this right away, uh, Google gives you already Google AI gives you an overview of how to solve this challenge where your the HTA access file since you could upload it, you can make it seem where you could give it a specific file and it runs a specific file as a as PHP even though it's a JPEG file. <coughs> In this case, our malicious JPEG file is just going to contain PHP code. So. What I did was basically modify what I already had. So this is me solving this challenge previously. And if we look at our malicious clear ma cat malicious.jpg, it's basically us trying to find the flag. It does the find command. It looks at the main directory and it looks for any instance of flag. So it could be flags, flags.txt, flags.jpg, flags. anything. I think anything else that it searches for, it just directs it to null. So well, now what we're going to do is go to Firefox. We're going to upload that file, malicious.jpg. And then first we're going to have it in our network tab, inspect console debugger network. And then we're going to upload it. And then it upload successfully. So now if we basically click on this and go on the new page, it sees it's not running it because we haven't implemented the HTA one yet. So now for this one, I was having trouble with uploading it using the whole drag and drop feature. So what I did was just did a new uh, request. Just it is through Firefox. I'm not sure if any other browser has this feature, but I usually use Firefox. And within HTA access, I just went and looked at my .htaaccess access file that I made, copied it over, and just basically just changed the file name right here to .htaaccess, access, and then put the content on my file right there. So now it's going to hold malicious.jpg control C. Let me go to right here and then we're just going to exit this out, copy it, and then we're going to send it. And then we get 200. So now if we run this again, malicious. Oh, we might need to. Oh, it got an error. Why did it get an error? Is it because like this? Yeah. So now we got it. Malicious. I guess I need to set out an extra space right there. But yeah, now we got malicious. Now we know the location of our file. So what I did next was basically go get made a separate one where I'll call it cat solve that solve that jpeg and then it basically cats out the file that we want so now if i go on firefox and then go right here and then you can access the web application here so i'll just make a new instance upload it or solve the jpeg and then upload the id and now it's right there but now we need to change this to include the solve one so i'll just change the name to solve and then send it and now if i click on this one we should see our flag, which is right there, PicoCF server bypass. So I copy this, send this right here, and then we should solve this challenge. And we did. So, yeah, that's about it for this challenge. Hope you guys learned something new today. I know I did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.